Hey guys, Jameson Boaz here. I'm the voice of Death Metal Redsco, and I just wanted to talk to you for a moment about how to sing death metal safely. Can't have you hurting yourself out there. This is something really, really, really important. If you're gonna attempt these kind of metal vocals, you don't yell until your voice breaks up. That's not how you do it. You don't yell like you're angry at somebody. It's something a lot more controlled. It actually comes from the chest first, and it has a little bit to do with your posture as well. So if you're going to try to do death metal Retzko vocals, practice making quieter sounds first because you can literally take your voice and push it with your chest and your diaphragm. And there's a lot of YouTube videos on it too that are really helpful to show how to do this stuff. I know that Philip Bozeman from Whitechapel has some videos on it. But yeah, definitely push from your chest. Drink a lot of water if you're going to be doing a lot of that screaming during the day. Make sure you keep your throat and your body hydrated. Go pick up the Melissa Cross Zen of Screaming DVDs. There's a CD that comes with it that has vocal warm-ups. You have to do warm-ups. If you do them at 9 o'clock in the morning, you're good for the rest of the day, uh, as long as you don't sleep. If you sleep, your vocal cords become paralyzed, so don't take a nap and then go to scream again. So yeah, hydrate, You know, sing from the chest, don't try to yell and uh, do your vocal warm-ups, absolutely. If someone was to try to do a yell and then you'll see people, they'll take a deep breath and they'll, uh, and they'll start doing it and then they'll, uh, they'll cough or gag, that means you're not doing it right. You know, if you're doing it right, you can almost have a conversation. Like you can kind of push your voice until it sounds like this. We can finish the interview this way if we really wanted to. It doesn't hurt. It does not hurt to do that whatsoever at all, but I did wake up this morning and do my warm ups. I'm drinking warm water. You have to take care of the machine if you want it to sound like that. Some guys just run around and, and just do what they do and they don't think twice about it and that's great for them. But me personally, I mean, I could sort of kind of sing when I was a kid, but I don't think a lot of people really just start doing death metal vocals when they're a kid, you know what I mean? And it, it's something that maybe is introduced later in life and it's specific technique. You really need to make sure you're doing it right. And to be able to get on stage and to jump around and be a front man and also do all the screaming stuff, it's like, you gotta do some cardio too. <laughs> You know, do you, do you know that feeling when someone tells you, hey, you need to work all weekend, overtime, hope you don't have any plans, and you go, ugh, you know? Like that sound is what turns into, you know, adding more air to it, ugh, 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 you know? <laughs> so, I mean, really, it's controlled rage, controlled rage. Retzko is definitely a fan of controlling her rage. She does it at the right time and in the right place. And uh, there's nothing wrong with having your own microphone. Culturally Eft is the top pop culture analysis channel for talking animals. In addition to our video essays, we're launching an interview series with voice actors, animators, game designers, and other creators, all with the intent of examining the role of furry in society. I'm Tempo, and I'll be taking you on this journey, so slap your paw on that subscribe button and stay tuned. Well, that's it, guys. Check the description for a link to the Bandcamp page for my band, Epsilon Zero where you can buy my music with all sorts of bonus goodies like booklets and wallpaper album art. You can also find Epsilon Zero on iTunes, Amazon Prime, and most other online digital music retailers. Make sure to subscribe to Culturally Eft for more furry cultural analysis, and to catch their upcoming Agretzko episode, which I just did a full interview for. Thanks for watching, and rock on!